Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna have Yuffie versus Lapis here in the very first set. And Mjurk, thank you for the resub. Four months already. Jeez. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, we've got this is some crazy action right away. Probably Terry against Ryu, I would, I would guess. Um, so I, I saw the players, they were actually just doing stage and character picks in the Twitch chat. Um, it's going to be Ryu versus Ken. Um, oh. So yeah, most of us know Lapis for, I don't know, Terry probably, but also plays a lot of other characters like Peach and uh, Link and uh, Palutena, but also Ken, of course. Trainer as well. Yeah, just plays a ton of characters. Um, but deciding to go for the Shoto Mirror here. Uh, very interesting. And yeah, Ken is his original main, basically, right? So yeah. That's going to be quite interesting to see him go back to his roots a little bit. Yeah, I haven't seen this Ken in a hot minute, so this should be interesting. Um, but probably still extremely sound as, you know, uh, he's a good player. Yeah, <laughs> what I more can, can I say? <laughs> I can only imagine, you know, he's gotten so much better over, over time. Oh, so yeah. Ken definitely has to. Uh, have, I've gotten a level up as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, uh, as we said, the stage and the character picks have already been done. We're going to Suzaku's Castle uh, FD, which is, of course, very fitting when there's two Street Fighter characters on the field. I love it. Yeah, so let's just get into it, man. Uh, your favorite uh, laugh is... Something that I'm quite interested to see is... Uh, I always wonder if... <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you know more about the other character, uh, how much does it affect your gameplay in the show to Ditto? Because that's you know, always something I wonder. If you know the ins and outs of each other's characters like this, right? Um, how much better are you able to play the matchup? You know, actually, something very funny about this is that um, I know that Yuffie is one of the few people who is absolutely convinced that Ryu is better than Ken, for right. the sole reason that Ryu's moves just work better than Ken's, because. Uh, what he says basically is that you can SDI a lot of Ken's stuff and then, you know, it doesn't really work. But what we're seeing right now is uh, Lapis putting on a lot of pressure and damage with the Ken. I've got to say, he's uh, killed many a stock with that F smash yeah. right there. But Yuffie wise enough to, uh, you know, air dodge out of there, not getting hit by the F smash. And of course, classic Yuffie staying back and throwing those fireballs. Mm -hmm. There we see with the perfect dashback almost leading to the kill. Yeah, the dashback was really clean and just barely weaving around that dash attack. But uh, oh wow, just wow. <laughs> hard <laughs> up tilting <laughs> that Tatsu. That, that is kind of nuts. nuts. All right, but you definitely <gasps> see wow, okay. And maybe that's something that Yuffie's also talking about the consistency in Ken's kill moves at times can be a bit rough. I suppose so, but then again, it does have that insane sweet spot on the, uh, the on one of the abyss that you can just kill ridiculously early. But there we go, a parry up smash. Yep, parry up smash, gonna take it. And that is Yuffie taking the first stock. But in instant retaliation by Lapis. Just barely catching him, getting out of shield a bit too quickly there. Mm hmm. And it's very interesting to see, you know, how they try to tackle this because they're both characters with relatively similar hitboxes relatively similar moves and play styles so it's it's all it all just comes down to a lot of rock paper scissors from what it feels Absolutely. like and of course we're going to see lapis more with this trade that trademark slightly aggressive play style where well yuffie is you know trying to feel him out a bit more yeah yuffie um, definitely leaning more towards the patient defense kind of play style right yeah, absolutely. And so far, it's uh, worked out for him. You know, of course, winning last time. Mm hmm Oh, my God. And it's so crazy, right? Because whenever you play against a Shoto player, you're basically, like, scared at all times when they're close to you. <laughs> but this is a matchup where both of them are just want to be up close. <laughs> so it's just really strange. Like, how like <laughs> how exactly do you get the upper hand here? Right? It just stress levels the entire game yeah. all the way up. And, uh, no, I'm glad we're commentating and not playing, because, my God, that's not <laughs> yeah. even going to take it. Wow. I mean, I'll be honest, if I had to play either of these characters, it would not look anywhere near as good as <laughs> these two players are making it out. Like, I believe you right away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yuffie makes it back. Lapis, though, really putting on the hurt. All right, great air dodge to the ledge. 
and Ryu just barely too slow to go for that cross up right there. I wonder if he's able to cover it if he's more ready for it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, just Ooh, the sh it. the sure you out of shield. Uh, actually taking the stock, that is kind of crazy. But still, you have to be in a bit of danger here, quite high percent. I feel like uh, oh, yeah. this... you know, a string into that up B, into that tree, you can might just do it right here. Oh, for sure. Even like a bad catch on a jump might do it here. It needs to be extremely careful. Gets a soft <laughs> nair, but the down Ooh, tilt up B it. will not be it. Wow. Great, great DI coming out from you for there, of course, knowing exactly how to. Mm hmm. Of course, Sasuga Lex. Oh, wow. Survives and, ooh, there. Again. But there That's we true. go. <laughs> Gonna All take right. that. Now, I've got to say, I have no idea where uh, where Yuffie is looking to take Lapis right here. I have absolutely no clue how this matchup will look on any stage. Yeah, me, me neither, to be honest. Because uh, from what I know, and I've played Lex a bunch of times, I've played Yuffie a lot, is that FD is basically his like comfort counterpick. Whenever I leave FD open against him, he goes there. So I would not be surprised if we're just going to go back to FD here. But, you know, maybe he'll surprise us. I mean, for his uh, signature turtle playstyle, it's not that bad of a pick. He gets to kind of do his thing, not get pressured too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. You've, you've got to wonder with uh, Lapis liking to do those high jump-ins with those aerials. Uh, maybe a platform would help, but yeah, we'll see what he does here. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. I think platforms can really, you know, help in zoning out the opponent because it uh, cancels out jump ins, you know, when, once you're under them. Um, but we're just going to go back to FD, as I speculated, and uh, back to a very slow start. But Lapis says, nah, never mind. I I've thrown a couple of fireballs. Let me just get it right up in there. And then again, he just keeps running in and... Uh... You know, that's that's his high octane, Ooh. you know, high risk, high reward place. Mm -hmm. And I like that, you know. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ooh, no, that's unfortunate. Like that's ever cool. since um, Yuffie showed him that he's gonna air dodge out of that combo with the potential F smash, Lapis has just been trying to read whenever he's like his air dodges and trying to just dash in there to continue the pressure. Like even though he knows that the combo isn't gonna be true, he's just making it so that he's ready to position himself for afterwards for after the yeah, air dodge yeah oh, absolutely. yeah he's uh quite aware and i feel like he, he just naturally has that that instinct where he just covers it a lot because i've talked to him before and he says you know he doesn't have much of a, a game plan in general he just kind of does what he feels will work right so uh very instinct based absolutely and of course he's young so that does make sense that's mm -hmm. uh you know, yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. I, I'm mostly an instinct-based player myself. I kind of go right. by feel. I do tend to, you know, analyze a little bit about what the opponent wants to do and what I want to do, and then play go from there. But most of the time, I just go into a set kind of blind. Um, that was sweet. Was yeah. Soft in there. Dude. Yep. That is a classic confirm. I have been hit by that many times from uh, from Yuffie. And there we go again. See? He, he gets a few hits, then reads the defensive option, because he knows it's not going to be true, and then gets to confirm. That's some great character knowledge. And that's, you know, of course, his, uh, his true first main, knowing exactly what to do in which situation, even if it's just by feel. That's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the classic advantage of playing a character a lot. Oh, course. yeah, for sure. And uh, remember, top eight is a best of five, so these players... Oh, <laughs> Yuffie's going to need it, because that is a 2-0. Big lead wow. here for Lapis. So much for me saying at the beginning that they're going to play against each other's stuff really well. Getting shield broken right there. On the yeah, platform. there you go. So most of us know that, you know, Ryu has a very good shield break move, but uh, Ken also has a very good one. And there very we go. So yeah, I uh, I honestly did not expect this to uh, be as one-sided as it currently is. Um, it, it feels like Ooh. ever since the start of game one, where Yuffie had a lot of control, Lapis has just been turning up, and he's just been yeah, going he, at it. He's basically in that trend where he almost got that F-Smash, and now he's just reading his defensive options really well and extending his advantage state really, really long the entire time. Oh, Ready yeah. To catching. Because Yuffie has been jumping from ledge aggressively with those uh, Shakunetsus. Is that what they're called? I think the Fireballs. And he's catching right now with the dash attack, for example. Mm hmm. 
All right. And that is something that Yuffie has complained about a lot, that he says he's not patient enough. Of course, all of us beg to differ. But uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he is really tough. He's going to take it there. Really tough on himself by, for throwing fireballs in bad situations and stuff. Yeah, he's, he's definitely one of those players that tries to perfect the one game plan that they have. And, you know, that can be a very tough opponent to deal with, especially if you can't crack their defense. But so far, Lapis has been very successful at, uh, you know, finding openings against Yuffie. He keeps doing that jump back. Uh, what is it? The focus and put it cancel. Mm -hmm. It looks really cool. I wonder what he's trying to catch there, or if he's just doing it. For fun. I think it's also just a movement base, right? Uh, it, it kind of looks like it's a commitment because you're gonna be stuck in the animation, but then you cancel out of it with a dash. So if someone decides to dash up into it, you're gonna be able to whiff punish them. I think that's the idea yeah. behind it. But yeah, it, it looks really cool. Oh, try. Not gonna get anything out of it. Yeah, Lapis tried to go for a, a jab lock combo there. Ooh, okay. Big back air. Nair isn't Ooh. gonna do it. I like the attempt. Yeah, me too. Uh, he hasn't challenged them much yet, so I might cut, catch him off, off guard. Ooh, and now Lap is trying to do the same exact thing. Alright, that is going to be a confirm. He's gonna get his knockdown too. Goodbye. And Lap is poised to take it right now. Just needs one more stop, you know? With Ken, that's two interactions. Very true, but <laughs> wake oh. up, DP. Street Fighter Classic. More patient, I'll let you this time if you don't pay off, but still gets caught on the rolling or going back to center stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a scary situation. Not the down air. Gonna just air dodge in to avoid that. Ooh. Oh my. That was a scary read. Yeah, right? He just walked up slowly and down smashed. <laughs> I'm walked, so sorry. Walked back slowly and down smashed. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And now, Ooh, looking quite that scary. That might be it. Be it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's wow. just a clean 3-0 from Lapis there in the winner semis against the, uh, the current defender of the title. Very nice. Very convincing, actually. Wow. Yeah, so the previous winner drops down to the loser side of the bracket in a uh, pretty commanding fashion, I might say. My goodness. So, in winners, everything is decided for top eight winners, right? Yeah. Yeah, indeed.